Archaeologists have hailed a latest discovery in Peru as possibly the most exciting find of the decade. Each and every day, archaeologists make different kinds of revelations, and these can be downright terrifying. Stone tools and other simple artifacts can tell us a lot about prehistoric life. But sometimes, archaeologists unearth macabre artifacts that bring death and human depravity into sharp focus. As they continue to scour the earth for clues about our past, archaeologists have uncovered secrets ranging from the bizarre to the downright scary. They're also a reason to lose sleep. What are the creepiest discoveries that archaeologists have found? Come along as we explore what scientists found inside this place that shocked the whole world. Twenty, the screaming mummy. The director of the Egyptian Antiquity Service, Gaston Maspero, unwrapped a mummy known as Man E in 1886. Man E was found inside a plain coffin wrapped in sheepskin. Maspero was shocked to find the mummy's hands and feet bound. The most disturbing aspect was that the face was frozen in a way that made it look like the mummy was screaming. The researchers suspected poisoning or burial as possible causes of Man-E's constricted face and body. No matter what led to his demise, the man was undoubtedly in agony. All of his internal organs were still there, and he wasn't mummified in the conventional sense either. Maspero proposed the idea that the mummy could be none other than Prince Pentaware, who was a conspirator in the assassination of Rameses III and whose mother, Tai, was also implicated. The plotters were apprehended and probably killed. Whomever this mummy may be, his creepy facial expression continues to fascinate people worldwide. 19. Bog Bodies Bog bodies are cadavers that have been preserved in the peat bogs of Europe. The exceptional preservation capabilities of the peat make them remarkable. The peculiar environment of the peat bogs allowed the skin, hair and internal organs of many of the bog bodies to survive and appear remarkably lifelike. The excellent preservation of their visage makes many of them interesting and even scary. The oldest bog body, the Kölbjörg man, was found in Denmark and dated back to around 8000 BCE. One of the most famous and interesting bog bodies is the Tolland man. In 1950, he was found with a rope around his neck, lying on his side. Scientists suspect he was hanged because of the injuries to his neck. Since he was placed in the bog with such care, it is also plausible that he was sacrificed instead of murdered. Tolland man's face looks very peaceful, almost like he is sleeping. 18. Otzi, the Iceman German hikers made the unintentional discovery of Otzi, the Iceman, in 1991, as the ice around his body started to thaw. His body had been preserved by ice and snow for about 5,300 years in the Otzel Alps along the Austro-Italian border. His weapons and clothing were discovered near his body. Archaeologists are in awe of Otzi, because of the excellent preservation of his remains, including his clothes and weapons. On the other hand, there are some unsettling elements, such as the frozen state of the body with the left rigid arm crossed over it. It is believed that Otzi the Iceman was a murder victim. Archaeologists initially assumed he had died of natural causes, such as a fall or the cold. A 2001 X-ray scan revealed an entrance wound on Otzi's back and an arrowhead in his left shoulder. Experts on Otzi think this wound would have been fatal for him. They discovered a serious cut to the head as well. He had been involved in an altercation in the days leading up to his death, as shown by the wound on his hand. Although the circumstances behind Otzi's death are still unknown, it seems without reasonable doubt that he was murdered. It is also believed there was an Otzi curse that affected a number of people who were involved in the discovery of his body. 17. A 2000-year-old ancient Roman dildo. Scholars have recently discovered that an artifact from ancient Rome that was thought to be a darning instrument may actually have been a dildo. Discovered in a ditch on the far northern outskirts of the Roman Empire in England, 
The phallic artifact dates back 2,000 years. The Vindolanda phallus is 6 inches long but was likely larger because archaeological wood is prone to shrinkage and warping. The object is unique because wooden pieces rarely survive. It was found in a ditch with dozens of shoes and dress accessories as well as craft waste products like leather offcuts and worked antlers. After an examination by researchers at Newcastle University and University College Dublin, the team proposed three theories. One possibility is that it served as a dildo or sex toy. If confirmed, it would make it the first artifact of its type to be found in the Greco-Roman era. There are no known examples of dildos, despite their depiction in Greek and Roman art. The other explanation is that the erect penis-shaped object had a pestle-like function, crushing food or maybe even cosmetic or therapeutic substances. Its form would have bestowed magical powers on the components, and its size is about that of a typical modern mortar. As for the third possibility, it would have been part of a statue that people might touch to bring good fortune and ward off evil. 16. Fairy coins placed in the mouths of the dead. Archaeologists unearthed a 2000 year old necropolis containing bodies buried with typical artifacts nearby, like cloth and coin, as well as a pig's skeleton. Several bodies had coins in their mouths likely as a form of payment to the ferryman of the underworld, Charon. The concept of an afterlife is not a novel one. Many Western religions, as well as South Asian and African ones, believe in some form of life after death. It has roots all the way back to classical antiquity and continues to this day. Typically, when people think about the afterlife, they picture Hades, the underworld in Greek mythology. Once a Greek man or woman passed away, their families washed their bodies and placed a coin inside their mouth as payment for the spiritual ferryman Charon who carried the body's spirits across the river Styx into the underworld. During the burial, expensive items including jewellery, cash and ceramics were buried with the deceased as offerings for the afterlife. Every year, the bereaved would pay their respects at these cemeteries where they would also replenish the grave decorations and make offerings. This practice originated from a combination of reverence and the belief that the deceased may bring misfortune to the living if they were not honoured on a regular basis. 15. Neanderthal cannibalism. A cave in Goyet, Belgium, has provided evidence that Neanderthals practised cannibalism. Evidence of butchering, marrow extraction and tool shaping was identified on bones discovered in the cave. There is also evidence of cannibalism at Neanderthal sites from other countries. But since this kind of evidence isn't always present, we still don't know why some Neanderthal tribes may have started devouring one another. The human remains unearthed in the Goyet cave belonged to a family of five, including a youngster and four adults. The same manner of cutting was also used to locate the bones of butchered animals. What prompted certain Neanderthal societies to resort to cannibalism is an enduring mystery to experts. Although malnutrition may have played a role, the Goyet site does not provide evidence of this. The idea that this activity might have had a religious component has also been proposed. Whatever the situation may be, knowing for sure is quite difficult. Yet, the terrible reality that our early ancestors occasionally consumed one another is evident. 14. Poland Vampire Burials Archaeologists in several Slavic nations have uncovered numerous vampire graves in the past 10 years. These tombs contain rituals meant to kill any potential reincarnation of the interred victims. Near the Polish town of Gliwice, tombs were found in 2013 while building a new road. The bodies of the victims were interred with their heads between their feet after they were beheaded. It was thought that the act of decay prevented the souls from resurrecting. Different techniques for preventing the afterlife were displayed in other tombs that were subsequently unearthed. A woman's bones, for instance, were interred with a sickle placed over her pelvis. In order to ensure that any resurrected bodies would be beheaded, other skeletons were discovered interred with sickles placed across their necks. Other methods of burial found 
include burying the body upside down or with a brick in the mouth. Witnessing the brutal manner in which these individuals were laid to rest makes one feel uneasy. 13. Shackled Skeletons Palaio Faliro is a suburb of Athens, Greece, where a minimum of 80 chained skeletons were found in 2016. The sight of the bones is unsettling. Many of them lie with their mouths wide as if they had screamed before they passed away and their hands are bound. The skeletons belong to young men who were apparently in good health. These guys may have been adherents of the 7th century BCE nobleman and Olympic champion Cylon, according to archaeologists. Cylon sought to conquer Athens at that time. The name given to this notorious incident was the Cylon Affair. After Cylon's coup failed, his followers took refuge in Athena's temple on the Acropolis. As soon as they left the temple, the adherents were assassinated, according to Thucydides. The pottery discovered at the site allowed the archaeologists to determine that the burials occurred during the time of the coup. The skeletons might have belonged to slaves or criminals nevertheless. Nonetheless, scholars contend that the reverent manner of their burial suggests differently. A brutal mass execution clearly befell these individuals, whomever they may have been. 12. The Pit of Bones At least 28 individual skeletons were found in a cave in the Spanish Atapuerca Mountains in 1987. The bones were found about 430,000 BC, and after a lengthy and arduous investigation, the researchers finally found proof of murder. Two wounds to the head were discovered as they meticulously put the skull back together. A blunt instrument, like a spear or stone axe, had struck the body multiple times. The victim's age and sex remained unknown. It's eerie to think that this crime may have gone undiscovered for hundreds of thousands of years. 11. The Knife-Armed Man An intriguing mass burial site from the 6th to 8th century CE was unearthed in northern Italy in 2018 by researchers. Among the victims was a middle-aged guy who had lost an arm that had been severed below the elbow and reattached with a blade. Upon further examination, the researchers found evidence that he had worn the weapon as a prosthesis. The signs of extreme wear on his teeth and an unusual bone ridge in his shoulder all suggested that he had held the knife with straps that he frequently tightened with his mouth. The sharp prosthesis was discovered close to a buckle and some decaying material that appeared to be leather. Was he a serious medieval badass or a dangerous old-timey serial killer? This is up to you to determine. 10. The Scottish Frankenstein Mummies As is often the case, the unexplainable is terrifying. In 2001, an excavation at a Bronze Age settlement in Scotland uncovered two skeletons, that of a man and a woman. The skeletons were approximately 3,000 years old and had been intentionally mummified, in this case preserved in peat bogs to slow down decomposition. However, something disturbing became apparent upon closer examination. The skeletons were actually a combination of components from multiple individuals. The woman was actually three men's bones joined together with a female torso and an unnamed arm. The man actually comprised bones from three separate males. Basically, it's a jigsaw puzzle of human skeletons with no background information. 9. A Prison for Witches A string of highly publicised trials around the country, dubbed the Great Scottish Witch Hunt ensued after Scotland's witchcraft laws were enacted in the 16th century. In 1597, there were 31 cases in Aberdeen alone. So what's such a town to do with all these supposed witches? If you guessed, lock them up in the one place a witch might be afraid of entering, then you'd be right. According to research carried out by historians, it was discovered that St. Mary's Chapel, a local church on the outskirts of Aberdeen, served as a detainment facility for the suspects. According to records, the accused were chained up using a two-inch iron ring that is still embedded in the wall of the structure. 8. Ancient Chemical Warfare In 2009, during an excavation of the ancient Roman city of Dura Europos in modern-day Syria, 
archaeologists found evidence of one of the oldest instances of chemical warfare. During the siege of Dura Europos in 256 CE, the resident Romans tunneled into shaft mines dug by their Persian attackers. Twenty Romans were killed, not from swords or spears, but a lethal cloud of sulphur dioxide created from burning sulphur and pitch. Once inhaled, the smoke turned to acid in the soldiers' lungs and killed them. Chemical warfare has its roots in a considerably older practice, despite appearances to the contrary. 7. Franklin's Lost Expedition Under Sir John Franklin's command, two ships, the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror, left England in 1845 for an expedition. Franklin was a seasoned explorer who wished to travel across the Canadian Arctic in an exploration of the Northwest Passage. The two vessels, which carried 129 crewmen in total, soon became trapped in the ice and were never heard from again. The sailors on board were exposed to terrible conditions and began dying of various causes, including lead poisoning and hypothermia. Later expeditions made some truly gory discoveries among the wreckage that seemed to suggest some of the sailors may have turned to cannibalism when they ran out of food. 6. Ashkelon's Unwanted Babies Ashkelon in southern Israel was the site of an unfortunate discovery in 19... One possible explanation is that the babies were discarded by sex workers who made their living in the bathhouse. 5. The Sacrificial Pits of Shimao Shimao, a site along the Great Wall of China, is a large, fortified Bronze Age settlement covered with a stepped pyramid. Under the pyramid, archaeologists discovered at least six pits that were filled with numerous human skulls. The skulls belonged to 80 young girls and are widely believed to have been the result of human sacrifices. Turns out that in ancient China, sacrifices were a common practice for a number of reasons. In some cases, they were made as offerings to the river god Hebo. In others, they were carried out as funeral rites in which slaves were buried with their owners or concubines with their lords. Nevertheless, the precise rationale behind the sacrifice of these 80 girls remains a mystery. 4. Australia's Murder Island As if Australia didn't already have enough scary things, there's also a place dubbed Murder Island. Officially named Beacon Island, the site got its alias because of the events of 1629. The Batavia, a Dutch ship, set sail for Indonesia that year on her maiden journey, transporting troops, sailors and civilians. A failed mutiny attempt on board caused a shipwreck and dozens drowned. A few hundred survivors were left stranded on nearby Beacon Island. Mutineers went on a rampage, murdering 125 of the survivors. Many were sexually assaulted. Almost 400 years after the unfortunate events, scientists were still unearthing the remains of the murder victims and others who managed to escape the massacre. 3. A necromancer's portal to the underworld in Jerusalem Israeli researchers discovered possible evidence of ritual magic in a deep cave in the Judean hills. Human skulls were arranged in patterns near oil lamps in the cave, with daggers and axe heads nearby. The artifacts are believed to be instruments used by necromancers, as caverns were believed to be entrances to the underworld. 2. The Graubol Man The peculiar environment of the peat bogs allowed the skin, hair and internal organs of many of the bog bodies found to have survived and appear remarkably lifelike. On the other hand, the 400-200 to 200 BCE Graubol Man does not appear to be so tranquil. Before being lowered into the swamp, he suffered a fractured leg and a slash to the throat. His body contorts and his face shows signs of distress. Although it is believed that he was also sacrificed, it remains unknown why he was possibly chosen as a sacrificial victim. 1. Aztec Skull Rack and Towers The discovery of several human skulls in Aztec temples is hardly shocking given the widespread knowledge of the Aztec practice of human sacrifice. Outside of Tenochtitlan's Templo Mayor stood a massive tzompantli, or skull rack. Skulls were more than just ornamentation. 
they were sacred symbols. Two towers, one on either side of the skull wall, were found by archaeologists in 2015. Additionally, the structures were constructed only from human skulls. National Institute of Anthropology and History archaeologists have calculated that the rack and walls must hold thousands of skulls, indicating the enormous magnitude of the human sacrifice that was occurring. Upon their arrival in the city, the Spanish were horrified to write about the Tzompantli. Standing beneath the enormous temple, one can only fathom the terror that the skull rack and towers must have induced. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.